This evening, I'm going to be talking to you about growing a program of research in organ and tissue donation and transplantation from seed corn to naysbury tree. Now, the seed corn I have always thought of as my PhD work, which laid a theoretical foundation for the program that's followed on. The naysbury tree is a representation of where I am today. But I've got to tell you that story. The year is um, 1978. It was the year of shark shorts, you know, when you just tore your shorts off and it was all raggedy at the end like a shark had ripped it with his teeth. And Chinese slippers, some of you might remember um, wearing those. And it, this is my girlfriend's um, yard in Jamaica. I was home on holiday. I was a registered nurse working in Canada at the time at the Princess Margaret Hospital. And it was right by the swimming pool that my friend Kay shared with me the fact that her sister Betsy, who had moved and was living in Florida, in Miami, had taken their little boy, Andrew, into hospital to have his tonsils removed. It was, you know, in the days when everybody routinely had tonsils out. And Andrew had never come out of the anesthetic. And Betsy donated his organs for transplantation. And I went along to the talk um, that afternoon, and it was really some kind of awakening, an epiphany, whatever it was, I knew that this was an area, having listened to what John and Margaret had said about their donation experience, that I had to look into. And you do as one does, you go to the literature and see what is written, and really there was, of course, the medical literature, a lot of... Um, you know, molecular science as far as transplantation was concerned, but nothing really about the social processes and about the people that are involved in transplantation. So I thought that for my PhD, when I had finally got my questions, I wanted to look at what the experience of being a donor relative was all about. I would just like to bring it to your attention how actually involved the West Midlands and Wolverhampton have been in contributing to this whole area of organ donation and transplantation. Clearly, we have the biggest transplant unit in, on our doorstep in um, the Birmingham Queen Elizabeth Hospital. It's the biggest transplant unit in Europe. And we also have um, the organ donor register was actually the brainchild of a locally based family. What of the future? Well, clearly, I've got a strategy to deliver now, <laughs> as well as carrying on with the work, the organ donation work, and helping students, sharing with them all the knowledge and experiences that I have gained over the years.